Yeah, hello and welcome to another update video about the Trezor hardware wallet. In this video, I want to show you how you can transfer over um, some of your ERC20 tokens from KuCoin over to your Trezor hardware wallet. Yesterday, I already showed you um, how to do that from Coinbase. So this video will be useful for everybody who wants to transfer something over from KuCoin uh, to any address. You know, if you don't know how to withdraw from KuCoin, uh, just check out this video as well. But particularly, it is really about moving your funds, ERC20 tokens in particular, to a hardware wallet, in this case, the Trezor One hardware wallet. Um, and uh, yeah, what is very important if you transfer over ERC20 tokens that on your dashboard here on the um, Trezor Suite, which is the, step, the software, you select Ethereum. Yeah, so this is your Ethereum account that you need to select. And um, this is very important because when you transfer over an ERC20 token, you want to have your um, Ethereum address, yeah? And when you use Trezor, all ERC20 tokens um, only need that Ethereum address, very, very important. So you just need one address to transfer any ERC20 token over to um, the Trezor. And here, yeah, select that. Under tokens, you can see all the tokens that you're actually storing, or the ERC20 tokens. So you can see that. Um, you can see it on the left-hand side as well, plus four tokens. What you need to do, you click on receive, and then you can see your receiver address. That is the address you need to copy when you go to KuCoin or to any exchange to um, transfer anything over, yeah? So click on full address, and then you copy that. Very important to use the Ethereum address when you send an ERC20 token over to KuCoin. So now we are here on KuCoin and all you need to do is you have to click on withdraw up there um, and you select your, there you can see it, withdraw, and then you click on um, the token. Yeah, it could be an ERC20, it has to be an ERC20 token in this case. Uh, I selected engine now, so all I do now, um, I select um, basically, yeah, the token and I paste in the wallet address. Again, very important, only ERC20 tokens. Um, when you select the Ethereum address, so I paste in that address that I just copied um, from the Trezor, the receiver address. I select the Ethereum network ERC20. There are some fees, so I'm not sure if the KuCoin community chain works. I don't believe so because the ERC20 token is what you need and is also what um, Trezor operates with. Yeah, In any doubt, make a test with a small test quantity first. So all I do now is select the overall quantity. You can see a minimum amount that you can enter, but I click on all, I select the overall quantity that I have because it is a fairly low quantity of engine that I have on KuCoin. Um, and for demo purposes, I just want to show you how to get it off KuCoin. So um, yeah, obviously I click on the quantity and all I then need to do is click on withdraw. You can see there is a fee. So you need to decide for yourself if it's worth it, if the fee is quite high compared to what you hold. Um, in some circumstances, it might be more beneficial for you to just hold it on the exchange because if it is an ERC20 token, the fee can be quite high. Yeah, just to, to understand. But, you know, the alternative is that uh, if you hold quite a lot on there and they might lock you out, then you might have a problem because not your keys, not your crypto. So we click on withdraw, takes a moment to go through. Then I have to confirm the withdrawal and I just have to put in my trading password, have to put in a text message code, which I can do here. And after that, I click submit, and then I will see that token after I have entered that text message code. Um, after a few minutes, I will see that token on my Trezor hardware wallet. And that's pretty much it. That is how you can transfer um, your ERC20 tokens off an exchange over to Trezor.